It's Bourbon Night. It's a flight fight. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. Sarah, this is flight fight number two in what? In our barrel proof flight fight hey, series. You I did got it. it. You can say it. <laughs> can, can do it. She can do it now. I'm all grown up. All right. What, Sarah, do we have in this flight fight? We have Jefferson's Ocean Voyage 10 at 112 proof, mm. Elijah Craig Batch B517 at 124.2 proof, yes. 1792 full proof at 125 proof, and lastly, Stag Jr. at 126.4 proof. Okay, so nothing over 130. No. So we're in that, that nice 120 range. Yeah, the Jefferson's being the lowest at the 112, but yeah, still, yeah. it's also very unique, so. Exactly, yeah, and actually you pointed this out uh, just a few minutes ago. I did. We, we've got two in here that won the uh, New Orleans Bourbon Festival mm -hmm. Best of Fest. Sure. The first year was the Jefferson's Ocean. Mm -hmm. the, in 2017. Mm -hmm, the cast strength. And then last year, the uh, Elijah Craig, and that was the BC17. No, the C917. Or, sorry, C917. Wow. The BC17842. The BC17842. <laughs> and this version of the printer does. <laughs> Did I catch a niner in there? We decided to go with the B517 That's because right. it was the, the, the big award winner. The big winner. Plus, we A B tested them earlier and we we like the B. We like the B. So we thought we'd put the strongest uh, showing in there, but we wanted to put a 7 and 718 in there, 17 that is, 718, because of the big awards, the big acclaim. Sure. That's what a lot of people a lot of people love. So it'll be representative of all of the Elijah Craig barrel proofs. Yes. Now this is the first time joining us. Uh, this is flight number two of five. We have two more and then a finals. That's right. And if it's also your first time joining us, know that we are drinking the same things at the same time, but we do not know the order. So this is blind. Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna start with A, go down, we're gonna go back and say what's what. Yeah. Bourbon A. Bourbon A. Smells kind of salty. Salty? Like light and salty and caramely, and like a salted caramel. Well, you know, there's one bourbon in here that is, uh, famously known of as a sea. <laughs> salted caramel, caramel popcorn. popcorn bourbon, and that is the uh, Jefferson's Ocean. But I could easily see this being the 1792 foolproof also. I just want to drink it. I'm not really getting a whole lot, to be honest with you. It has like a light tingly, like a saltiness. So this could also maybe be the lower proof one, which would again, put it as the ocean. Maybe. Let's just find out. Oh, wow. I don't think it's the ocean. I don't think so either. That's got some heat. It does. I think you've been. It's a distinct flavor. Oh, it is. Oh, it goes. I like it. Mmm. It's it's unique. It's very vanilla. It is, but it's also still like got those light, bright flavors, but it's got the heat too. It, oh yeah, it's definitely got the heat. Mm -hmm. It's got um, that vanilla with the maybe not baking spice, maybe just it's more clove. I thought you were about to say bacon, and I was like, you what know, that, are you drinking that, that I'm bacon, not drinking? That bacon spice. That bacon that spice. I love so much. Yeah. No, it's it's pretty chill. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, you know, for a barrel proof. It's mm. like... There it goes. Yeah. It's giving you, like, some nice little yes. strokes, but it's not like... Oh. It's not like, <laughs> come here. <laughs> You're coming with me. Finish him. <laughs> yeah, finish him. <laughs> Banana oh. bread. Yeah, and that's like deep, dark banana bread with chocolate chips. Yeah, oh yeah. The kind yeah. that Chad doesn't like. Uh, stay out of my banana bread chocolate chips. <laughs> and See, out of, uh. I love, I make a very requested banana chocolate chip banana bread at Christmas, except for Chad doesn't request it. But no, it you, does you, hit a, it, you hit it on the head. Like a brown sugar crusted chocolate chip banana bread with mm -hmm. a little bit of cinnamon. Yeah, yeah, you can you can taste, or sorry, you can, oh, you can smell that crust because it's kind of like where it's, Caramelized. Where it's caramelized and, on the top, and yeah. it's like when you cut it, it yep. kind of crackles a little bit. Mm -hmm. oh, Are you hungry yet? Oh man! And Ooh, it does not good. disappoint in the flavor department. Mm. It has those fresh fruits, not dried fruits. Fresh fruit, like a banana, mm -hmm. not the peel. We've gotten the peel before. It's just straight up a fresh banana, a ripe banana. I guess. Um, it's not overpowering though. It's pretty it's, delicate. It's not. Banana. It's not. I mean, it's it's underneath. Your typical caramel and vanilla. Um, Get a little chocolate too. You know, bourbon flavors. The char of the barrel is in there too. Speaking of some char, Ooh, some sweetness. There's something floating in here. It's some char. It's, That's how you know it's good. Yeah, it's yeah. That is good and unique. I don't know what that is. 
I don't know what any of these are. And again, every time we've been doing flight fights lately, I've been like, this is the hardest one we've ever done. <laughs> and I feel like they just keep getting harder. Yeah. Oh, that's really, really toasted and dark. Yeah. That's uh, an oaky and a little smoky. Yeah. Ooh. Yum. That's an old barrel. Ooh, that's intense. Oh, that's dark. That is dark. That is dark. It's very mm. good. It's bunching up the tongue, not in a dry way. It does, but though, cause it's so dark and it's so hot. Um, My tongue just went. <laughs> 80% cacao. I don't get a lot of chocolate on this one. I get more of the barrel notes. Well, I do on the finish. On the palate, more, I would kind of like milk chocolate, but then as it sets, settles in on the tongue, yeah, it goes darker. It does get a little cocoa powdery. A baking chocolate, a, like a more, not mm. bitter chocolate, I guess. Mm. That's tasty. People say they take drinks whenever we say nutty, and I feel like they should do it also when we say chocolate, because we say it all the time. True. Chocolate. Chocolate. Oh, that's real nice. But after C, it kind of smells really mellow. And yeah. I know it's not, is it, the thing, I know it's not. Yeah, brown sugary. Yeah, brown sugar, brittle, caramel. Whoa. That's different. I think this is the ocean. I think so too. <laughs> it was the only one so far that I've been like, oh, that's different. Not a, not that it's our job to guess, and it's not, but. We speculate. We Yeah, we speculate. It's fun. We're usually pretty wrong. But they're all good. Yeah, this one is smooth. It doesn't pack a lot of heat. More evidence for it being the Jefferson's Ocean, the lowest proof of this flight. Not, I mean, where's it's that? It's a little nuttier than I. Where's that salted caramel popcorn? Instead of popcorn though, I think I'm getting like a lightly roasted nut. <laughs> you don't get that? No, I am. It's very much on the palate, not so much on the finish, but mm -hmm. yes, mm -hmm. I am. Hmm. Well, this is a toughie. It is, and you know what's weird? Right now, I don't know if that I have a front runner. I think I'm liking yeah. B and C best, but I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, like I thought for sure going through here, I would know what the stag was, I, and I would too. know what the Elijah Craig was. I have a sneaking suspicion that C might be the stag, but... I don't ever remember a banana in a stag. Now, I this is the bottle that we uncorked. I didn't get banana on C. Uh, B? B? Yeah, no, it was... B, it was B. It was B? Yeah, it was B. Okay. Um, the bottle of stag we have back here is a bottle that we uncorked about a month ago. So, yes. um, you know, things things change when they open up. It's been sure. open for about a month. You've opened up a lot in the past three years. <laughs> True. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go back through, but first we're gonna pause because we're dealing with barrel proof bourbon. We Need just a break. sampled four of them. So we're gonna let our tongue <laughs> come back down to room temperature. Relax. And then we're gonna come back, we're gonna try these again. They're always different the second time around. Then we're gonna rank them and tell you what our, uh, our thoughts and feelings are. Fine things. Mm -hmm. I feel good. I, I feel, feel much better. Normal. So let's just go back through. Same, okay. Same old way. Starting with A. Starting with A again? Okay. Second time around. Mm. A has personality. It has a umph. Yeah. It's got a. Oh. Yeah. It's got a. You know? It's got a little. In it. Wow. I shouldn't have started that. It's got a. You're making it sound like it's your favorite. It's good. <laughs> mm, that's good though. The dessert -y. Yeah. B is for bananas. B A N A N A N A S. Yeah. It's hot though. It is hot. It's like. <laughs> yeah, and it really does kind of bunch up the taste buds. Oh man, it's got a creeping heat. Mm-hmm, very creeping. Woo-wee! You don't expect it at first and it sort of builds like, when you're eating a, uh, like a good hot sauce or something, I don't like hot sauce, but it has to be mild. But after you have a couple of bites, you're like- Like a good mild hot sauce. This is hotter than it was before I'm starting to sweat. Yeah. <laughs> and that's how I feel about B. I don't dislike that. No, I mean, it's good. It's making this long sleeve shirt a little toasty, but- <laughs> Hello. Hello. It's, I think it's all about what are you, what you're in the mood for. Good, good, strong Kentucky hug. We're stranded on the planet hop. Instead of cutting, cutting open your tauntaun. Yeah, you don't have to get inside, inside your tauntaun. Just drink some of this bourbon beef. <laughs> if only Han had had that. The tauntaun would still be alive. Nah, that tauntaun was dead. He was already <laughs> dead. When he cut him open, he was he dead. He was like, Arr. He was like, Arr. Arr. <laughs> Oh no, I can't do this. Oh. 
That's from the Family Guy version. Yeah. <laughs> no. Don Knotts. You're Don right. Don. Anyway, bourbon C. Oh, it's so brown sugary and oaky. Yeah, I mean, that's that's the note I'm getting, but that's about it. The thing is, B is so desserty and delicious, and C has like brown sugar, but it also has the oak. Are you okay? Mm -hmm. Are you it's Matthew like, McConaughey? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't know the, what, what, what he hums. I don't know either. Mm -hmm. I think he just made that up. I thought they said that that was improv. Just like this. Starts to hurt. Yeah. I hope they didn't wow. have to too many takes. C is has the most viscous, buttery mouthfeel of them all. Going back on, on second go through. Yes. Do you agree? Oh, man. I agree that C is the silkiest. But, which is interesting. And the buttery. buttery. It, the butteriest. Yes. Of them all. Of them all. King of the butteriness. It's just going to be like, do you like the banana... They like the crusted chocolate chip banana bread flavors better. Do you want a dessert or do you want like oak and <clears throat> toasty and... Right now you're just saying B or C. What about A? A is amazing. A is also amazing. They're all good. I don't, want, <laughs> I don't know. The one thing that is for sure is we're more entertaining on the second go through. That's true. Of the bourbons. Yeah, you. I was like, the first half I was like, where are the references? <laughs> they just hadn't fallen He's out yet. It's just so normal. Yeah, oh well. Yeah. D. Because then I gotta go back and break this down on yeah. my own, and I can't be having you interrupting me. I like D. It's you know, great. I'm There's getting, nothing wrong with D. I am now on second go through, getting more of like that island malt. It is a little. It's a little island. -y. It's a little, uh, little rum, a little rummy. Um, also, kind of a buttery, viscous mouthfeel mm -hmm. on it itself, but not like C. D is great. If I wanted a barrel proof during the summer, yeah. D is where it's at. I mean, like, I'm outside, I'm having a great time, <laughs> sun shining on me, and I don't want anything that's gonna like make me feel like I'm on fire. Sure. Because I'm already hot. Okay. So that's how I feel about D. When we're talking about barrel proofs, I'm looking for that dark oak, caramel, toasted, chocolate, cinnamon, baking spice, warmth and goodness. And we're mm. in October now, so I'm in full Go fall on. mode. <laughs> in full fall mode right now. She's flanneled up, everybody. So while I really enjoy D, I think it's at a disadvantage here because I'm not in the mood. Because of the season. Because of the interesting. season. Interesting. Because of the season. This has never come up on a flight fight before. This is interesting. We've been doing this for, our, for two and a half years. This hasn't come up before. That's what I love about bourbon. You think you know it all? You think. Not that we ever did, because <laughs> we obviously don't. But here we are. Yeah. But sometimes when I describe tasting notes, I'm like, it's a crisp fall night and you're outside in the woods by a fire. Sure. And D is a great bourbon, but it does not fit that setting. And that's kind of in the mood that I'm in right now. Right. I love it. This but... is you're on the beach and you don't want to have a Corona because that's what they drink in the commercials. <laughs> you want your bourbon. So you're going to have a nice glass of bourbon D. Yeah. Or just like a patio or something. Patio. Okay. If you can't get to the beach. All right, now I gotta break away from you. All right, so we're gonna do our own thing here. I'm going rogue. She's going rogue. She's going off the rails. She's a loose cannon. I know what I'm going to do. Well, that was not easy. <sighs> that was really tough. Yes, but... I'm exhausted. She's exhausted. We have decided. So, you know what that means? Is it results time? It's results time! <laughs> We've made a decision. There's a first and there's a last, but we don't think of it that way. We think of first and fourth. Yes. And there's also a second and a third in there, because that's how math works. Because these are all great pours that we were happy to have in this lineup. Now, just looking at our weird way that we position things, I can tell that we have a different last place. We have a different order, I think, all around. So we have a completely different order. Well, let's do my fourth place, your fourth place, and then I think we might just jump to our first and our first. Okay, let's do it. Fourth place. Fourth place for Sarah. Okay, I picked A because D is a little lighter. It's a little more Islandy, but I truly enjoyed the balance of flavors of D. Mm -hmm. And A, when I kept going back to it, I kept getting this. I really liked A, but in the middle, I would get this weird hint of licorice. And you know how I feel about licorice. It's not Bourbon A's fault, but I just don't like licorice and I couldn't put it okay. in third. So. Fair enough. 
What? It's a stag junior. Wow. <gasps> Dang. Shocking. Shocker. Whoa. <laughs> no, I mean, it's good to know. It's good to know. I like other bottles of Stag Jr. a lot. I like this when we uncorked it. But against these other ones, I think the comparison really made that licorice stand out for me. Sure. And I I know we've had different proofs that did not have that licorice. So Absolutely. maybe it's just this proof for me, but I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. I mean, we can always do a Stag Jr. flight fight at some point. If we you could, want. we could. If you guys want. If you're like, if people are flipping tables, what is this no! madness? <laughs> What's your last place, Chad? I uh, renounce Sarah's name. Don't renounce my name. All right, I put D last. And your your whole theory about the, the season, I think, played into my decision as well. It was this more of a summery island type of, you know, type of feeling. And it, we're in December now. I'm thinking about Halloween and mm -hmm. things like that. And we're I'm in just... October, not December. Okay. <laughs> hey, Chad's on Christmas. The all, these all work. Um, <laughs> we're in October and I'm thinking about Halloween and I'm not thinking about you know, that, that type of flavor anymore. Plus, it obviously didn't pack as much punch, I feel, proof-wise, and we're getting ready to find out. Uh, so let's see, I put D last, and D is the Jefferson's Ocean. So we both guessed that, right? Yeah. Yep. Guessed that correctly, so I, I put that last. Now, I love Voyage 10, and I've I've gone on record as saying that. I also love Voyage so 10. So it's just, it's not last, it's fourth. What's well, third for me? And third for you, <laughs> okay, okay. So that means I put Stag Jr. third. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which is also like a dilemma for you, because... Yeah, I know. Um, but this doesn't mean you don't love Stag Jr. It just no. means you love B and C more. Uh, it means I love two others more than Stag Jr. All right, so my first is letter C, and your first is letter B. That's correct. So, let's just pick up our firsts at the same time. Our first at the same time. Okay, I'm B, you're C. Yes. All right, and go. I picked Elijah Craig Barrel Proof as my number one, and you picked uh, 1792 Full Proof as your number one. What's going on? Right? <laughs> it's B. It was neck and neck. Ask him. I went back and forth. I had C in first, and then I tasted him back again, and then I put B. Not saying that I was wrong. I'm not wrong. They're both delicious. I struggled with mm. this one. And it didn't reveal itself until the second time through. Like, first time through, I was like, yeah, I don't really know. Um, second time C through, is fantastic. I was They're like, both good. C is just this boom pow. Originally, I thought it was A, but then that ended up coming in third for me. Yeah, I really struggled with B and C. Wow. I feel like we did the typical like TV misdirection with saying how good A was. Like, ah, A is wonderful. Yeah. I love it. Came in third. You know, it's like, <laughs> <laughs> it didn't win. Everyone's thinking, oh, it's going to win. the best mouthfeel for sure for sure i just thought mouthfeel. when i was having it i was like b has just got something i think i was going with that banana chocolate chip which is interesting bread. because normally you don't like you know bananas are kind of sweet but it, but it wasn't just like banana -y. it was like in that bread with a cinnamon and the sugar yeah and the chocolate crisp it was banana like so good nut and it was just taking me bread. there yeah. and i liked that you like the so, journey? Um, well, there a, there you go. C is undeniable, though. It's also amazing. Yeah, it's really good. Really good. Cool. Well, guys, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. If you like what we're bringing to the table here, you can follow us on the social medias at It's Bourbonite. More importantly than that, what else we got? Um, we have a Patreon page yes. at patreon.com slash It's Bourbonite. And we posted about this flight right before it happened. So yes. they got to see and vote on which one they thought we were going to pick like, first. Like a week early. Um, yeah, so we do that kind of stuff, uh, polls and whatnot. Yep. Check it out. And then lastly, you can get things like these Tribeca glasses that we use for our flights at our Stick Amazon it. influencer page, which is amazon.com slash shop slash It's Bourbonite. Yeah. I think that's it. Two more flights to go. And then the finals. What's happening? <laughs> this is a roller coaster of emotions. Um, it's gonna be crazy. But thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Okay. Until next time, everyone, you know what to do. Drink more bourbon. I mean, 
every drink I take, it's like back and forth. Every drink I take. 